Hello everyone, it's my Yard here. Welcome to the channel. If you want to see more 2K20 goodness, you're going to have to turn your notifications on when you hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to turn the notifications on. It's one of those classic things that every YouTuber tells you because it's absolutely true. Same for leaving a like. Leaving a like means more people will watch the videos. And we'll be getting some good traction over the last few days because of this exclusive footage. We're in Super Showdown. It is a fatal four-way cage match between Rhea Ripley, Tony Storm, Candice LeRae and Scotland's own Nikki Cross. And this is all AI. So it's AI versus AI versus AI versus A5. A5? F5. F6. Refresh. Uh, this is all the computer. And there was two reasons for it. One, I had played a couple hours and was having something to eat. The other reason was you kind of want to see how the AI has evolved this year over the previous years. And the gameplay is the same and we'll talk about that in massively greater detail in another video. If you haven't seen the other videos such as the two hours of my career, go check them out. Or Bumping the Night DLC entrances or gameplay for the showcase for Finn Balor. We've got Nikki Cross's... Um, Tower as well with survivors such as Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke, Lana, and Maurice. We're going to have other matches such as um, triple threat tag team TLC matches, triple threat tag team Hell and Cell Big Head mode done in uh, Flash R uh, Ripley or is it Ridley or Flash Riley's? Riley? Really? Don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's done in that arena, which is actually quite cool to actually see Hell and Cell in one of those arenas. Uh, Red Hemlock Cell's already been posted with the Fiends with weapons in as well, so you've seen a nice variety of stuff despite there not being massively changes. There will be a big uh, review, and I use that in quotation marks very shortly if you watch this video fairly quickly, of me talking about it, because the key question is about the build. Uh, it's not the final build, and things could change and be patched in and fixed. I don't think it's going to be much, but I mean, it's don't review a game until you've fit, placed the final product. That's my point. Anyway, so we've got four entrances here. We've obviously in Rio Ripley's, we've got Nikki Cross's, and then we'll have Candace's, and then Tony's. The AI does seem to behave a bit better this year compared to, to 19. You will see this, especially in this match. Stuff that never, ever happens, it's not a bad joke on version, uh, for WWE 2K19 with the cages and stuff, and I was thinking that we, we were going to see an infinite loop, um, which could have happened in previous years games, where you get stuck in a motion and that would be the continuous motion till the end, basically, there would be no winner. Uh, this is with the cage escaping, people being on the top, someone being on the ropes underneath, and the only animation is the punch and they just do it, wait until they try escape, they punch again and you get stuck in a never ending loop because the AI doesn't know what to do. Somehow this gets rectified and that's really good to see because the AI is taking the initiative and doing other things. They have said in clips uh, that finishes and signatures will be dished out um, a bit more intuitively now as well. They will d decide, oh I want to do a SIG instead of just going straight to a SIG or if they had signatures and finishers, they could jump straight to a finisher instead of just going for the sick, for instance. They, they can decide what they want to do, which is good to see, in all honesty. A bit of variety, a bit of Fire Pro probability algorithms is what we'd like to call. Some of the renders on here look great as well for the female superstars. Uh, and the cage match hasn't really had much improvements, if any, to be honest. I didn't see anything that was dignified worthy of a response but the AI in this match is definitely worth it so please enjoy the next sort of five six minutes of gameplay of the four superstars there's a couple of good spots in here especially the ending you just don't know who's going to win put your money in now place your bets any second it will happen uh, but as you can see the hair is it's, it's not great I, I do hope there's a patch, but I, I think that's too big of a thing for a patch to happen on it. But the arena's nice, and yeah, enjoy the video, enjoy the match. We will see you very soon. Take it easy now. Bye bye. See ya. Adios. See ya. A ciao. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Ta ta.
We're ready for Unleashed Fury in this steel cage match, Corey. What strategy can a competitor devise to increase their chances of winning? Well, if a superstar is not known for their agility, they might be best served looking to escape through the cage door because it could take a little while to get up the ropes. Great point. The superstars who rely on speed hit a flurry of offense, including the best that your arsenal has to offer, and try to get out as well. You have to find any advantage over your opponent and maximize it to have even a shot at victory. And victory is achieved when you escape and both feet hit the floor or be a pinfall submission. Leg variant with the arm wrench. Very nice. Elbow smash. Oh, what a counter. Crucifix head scissors. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Oof, the kick finds it. Being put into knots. Look at this. Boom, nice. Boom, KO punch. Double knee backbreaker. Oof, God, face breaker. Great win. Orient your opponent. The fatal four way match works like this. Four superstars are in the ring all at once. There are no count outs and no disqualifications. You have four superstars who are throwing down in the ring all at the same time, and they can fight anywhere they want to. It's mass hysteria. And she goes down hard. Close line! Oh, yeah. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker textbook. How many headbutts are we going to see? And now looking to get it locked in. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Look out. She's made it all the way to the top. Let's go. Byron's got to use the potty. Boom. <laughs> Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. She's in control. Now with complete control. She's made it all the way to the top of the cage. Stringing together some big moves here. She's able to turn it on in a flash. Boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. She's reached the top of the cage here, guys. This might be it. Boom, what impact. Oh, yeah, here's Nikki Cross. Oh, wow, she turned that one around. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Boom. <laughs> Reached the pinnacle of her climb here. Reach the tilt. This could be it. Harsh impact. I just love steel cage matches. And now she's at the top of the steel cage. Already at the top? Ended already. Strategy is working. Almost over. Nearing the end here. Boom! <laughs> Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Changes her fortune there. Boom, what impact. Ooh, what impact. That's the impact.
carefully making her way up the side of the cage. The steel cage match is over, and she'll never be the same. Never, ever be the same. Again, Michael Cole. Candice wins on that spectacular finish. Uh, if you want to see more WWE 2K20 gameplay, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and see more. What would you like to see next? Hmm, we may have it. Follow me on Twitter at It's My Yard, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy. Bye bye.